Thanks again for the suggestion to show the scissor jack in action. I've taken out the stuff that I have in the truck, the tire changing equipment. So I've got the lug wrench, the crank arm for the scissor jack, and the scissor jack itself. I've oriented the scissor jack this way just for purposes of the demonstration so you can see it in action. Um, but because of that, I'm going to start the contact point fairly close to the lug because the relationship of this point and the lug wrench will change as it goes up. In other words, as this goes up and the lug wrench turns counterclockwise, this contact point should be going this way. Anyway, let me slide this underneath here, get it kind of close. The reality is I'm working on uneven ground, so you might see this scissor jack. I wouldn't be surprised if it moves around a little bit as I do this. Okay, I've taken up some slack there by hand. I'm going to crank the arm right now until I can't. Not the arm, rather. It's the, the eyelet. And then take the cranking wrench and put it through the eyelet. And I'm going to crank clockwise in this case. And let's see if we can get this free. Get it going. It's going up. That contact point looks like it's shifting. Yep, it's moving. I don't know if you can see that. We'll go a little bit more just to emphasize the point because it's got to be unstuck at this point. So we'll just keep going up. Oh, okay, obviously that's broken free. Let me go ahead and just check this. Yep. So just to show that it works, that's the theory. Scissor jack, lug wrench, going through the eyelet with the cranking arm. Hopefully this gets somebody out of a pinch if they're stuck on the side of the road. Again, thanks for the suggestion. I appreciate it.